and welcome back to the third episode of this little flashback, I guess. <laughs> so, the last couple of things I want to show you are the Puffridge Bandit's hideout and this little quarry I built. Well, dark actually. It's uh, this way through the tunnel. I actually made this tunnel pink and purple like I said before because I had really thought those colors mixed well together. And they look they look good together, but meh, color combinations I might have chosen a different one. I don't know. I, I I tried out a lot of different color combinations when I built this, but I don't yeah. It's difficult for me. So excitement. Okay, this is oh my god, leg spike, yes. So this is the little quarry I built. It's a 32 by 32 block uh, quarry. That's four chunks, I think. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, oh, oh, I can jump down. <laughs> I used to be so scared to jump down there. So I built this before I realized that you could use efficiency five beacons with haste. Two, no efficiency five tools with haste two beacons to uh, make the mining of stone like the same as the mining of netherrack but efficiency four so i dug it all out by hand in like two or three days i really was on that grind and then i placed all the cold ore i had down here and there was like uh one layer and then until the half so one and a half layers i think we which was really a lot and I fortuned that up. I uh, I really needed stone for my island, and uh, well, stone is something you always need. So I had like a setup here with uh, automatic furnaces, where you have a chest and buff some hoppers, and those hoppers will drop something in a furnace, and they will drop something in hoppers, and they will go into a chest. So you can just continuously um, cook stone while you're digging this. This was a little place when I needed a lot of dirt for the top half, uh, top layers of the island. So I just dug dirt. I wonder if there's something in this chest still. No, they're just floating it. This was full of uh, stuff. I I uh, wanted a recognize recognizable place, so I did it at Maha at exactly two thousand zero somewhat. <laughs> I went to 2000 zero and I looked up like a little flat area. I was planning on maybe doing something with this, but then uh, the surface map got reset, so didn't really have use. What's over there? I'm very confused. There's a pillar over here. There's actually stuff over here. My my, that's close. What is this? Um, this is some kind of village of breeding cell? But this is really confusing. What the? <laughs> Look at all, what's this? Who built this? Okay, he got a looting tree book. Oh my god, that's amazing! This is the weirdest place I've ever seen. This configuration of blocks is just confusing. Well, as you can see, I haven't been here in a while. Like afterward, at the end of the map reset, so that's why I didn't notice that. Really confusing. <laughs> so let's go to uh, the puffish penance hideout now. So to get to the Boxy Planet's hideout, we actually have to go through the tunnel of the... What's this? I'm confused. Oh. That was still there. This is actually the, the portal to Caniano's place, I think. And I built this tunnel for him because I didn't want him to use my tunnel. This is the way to Justine's. He was online for a very short moment. 
And Warman and I actually build our little place. Okay. Well, this is a little back way, but we have to go through uh, Legionella's tunnel to get to the Puffish Bandit's hideout because I actually hit it somewhere close to Legionella's base on the water. Because, well, to be fair, we're Puffish Bandit, so <laughs> it would be logical to be on the water. So. We are downloading terrain with low FPS. <laughs> this is Legionella's base. Come on, get your FPS. These these worlds are really getting laggy sometimes. Oh my god. Stop it! This 5 FPS stuff is so annoying. I might need to relog. Just to be uh, clear here. I am cutting off a lot of stuff because the netherworld and the overworld and the end were different file packages. So I didn't quite know how to put them in the same map. So the nether in this map will be different from the nether we had. So I'm uh, switching between worlds. <laughs> and I'm cutting off at the loading screen. But sometimes these worlds get laggy as hell. So I'm going to have to relog. I think it's really weird. It's it might be because of the the world generation, but I have already preloaded this thing because I have to look for it. Okay, I'm going to relog. I'll be back in it. So FPS is obviously better now, so I can re move on to my video. This is Legionella's base. This is his house based off of Ito Corp, I think. Little village. His stadium of Sacronus with a interesting. Uh, thing. He actually made it a circle this time around. It used to be like the the little line stuff. Um, little stables, I think. Some farms and a windmill. And his own quarry, actually, with down here his speed mine, which is really a smart way to get a lot of diamonds. Oh, and apparently spawner of summiness. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a eh, my throat is aching just a tiny bit. Why do I always pick up item frames? That's brilliant. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm always curious about that. So, when you go this way, I usually end the pearl over and then go over to this little place. I should be down there see you see the light it's really inconspicuous this is the way to the buffer fish band it's I doubt so I usually use the um, dive bucket with respiration tree to survive that this was from a little PvP battle we had. We just put our stuff here in a little bed. Random crafting bench, lol. So, this was our hideout. As you can see, we uh, honored a great pufferfish by uh, placing his head on the wall a lot of times. And made all nice flooring. Really like this. And the ceiling is just random with the uh, redstone lamps. We we're planning. I actually built this. This is all the puffish we got. Okay. So some puffish, puffish, I donate a lot. And we were planning on making like these little monuments for each puffish we got, with a little reason for it, like this wide or something and then one two three four five something like this I I, I didn't quite know yet 
<clears throat> it was probably going to be out of stone and then a puff fish in the item frame and then a little explanation of where we got it and what we did to get it this was my uh, entrance and this was like the little reception area I made like a design and with inter uh, made in water and lava I dug all that out by hand which was really a lot of work. That was why I was over here a lot and people could see me on the dim map. <laughs> and this was the little back area, little cave system, and this is where I stored all the stuff. So I got a lot more cobblestone than I really had at least. I was planning on moving most of it, but it took so much time. And this was what I used for, oh my god, frame drop. Uh, this was what I was using for the shop mostly. Dirt, gravel, and there was some random stuff. The stuff I used for the puffish. Uh, yeah, some red. So this is where I stored all the items. And then, uh, too mad I went caving down here. <laughs> I, re I really like this build. It was, I was, I'm proud of it, pretty proud. So, this was most of what I built on the server. Can't really think of anything else. The only other thing I really helped with was the map, which is basically uh, the, the, the message board, which was basically like a, a map's worth of uh, snow put on the ground, and you could put messages on top of it. And I think that's about it. I actually once upon a time helped, uh, what's this? Oh. Yo dog, I was wanting to give you this gift because you're a good friend and so enjoy these minerals. You deserve them for being an awesome omen. Oh, Bye is not for eating. Okay. Yeah, this is something reference. Interesting. So I actually uh, at one point removed this mountain, like uh, this mountain for Legionella because he was wanting to build a mansion here, and he actually built that mansion there. But then he uh, MC edited back the mountain in because he he apparently didn't like the mansion. I don't quite understand because it wasn't really built mansion, but what the heck? I love how everything is gone, like player file wise, but my death count is still here. I don't even know if I died that many times, but he, I, I died more than that, so I guess that's not really the death count. But so either way, if you guys enjoyed this little tour, I'm going to find out if I can get the maps of the. Second and the third season, mm. I guess, which we really played on a lot, and uh, I'm going to do some kind of thing there too. It's not as big as these are because this map was in play for about five months, I think, before we had to get a new map. So, you know, this is an iron farm. Ooh. But, um, it will still be interesting, I think. Either way, thank you guys for watching this little mini-series, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!